So I was having some under extrusion issues on my CR10 and after checking over a few things I figured out that it was actually the extruder this screw right here had backed out some and it was causing the filament to slip going through the gear. It wasn't enough that I could see it doing it or hear it but it was enough that it was showing up on the models. So all I did was I tightened this screw back up and then on the next model that I printed I noticed that there was no under extrusion but there was a it almost looked like it was banding from the lead screw but I actually took a photo of them and tried to line them up and, and it didn't line up it was really close but it didn't quite line up and then I noticed on a on another model the banding got was the spacing on it got further apart the smaller that the diameter of the model was and so that kind of pointed me to the extruder again and so what I did is I started backing the this screw off just a little bit and it got a little better and so I'd back it off more and it got a little bit better to the point where it was almost gone but it wasn't completely gone I backed it off until it started under extruding again and so I, I couldn't quite get it just right so I decided that it was time to just go ahead and upgrade this to the Creality, the all metal extruder. This, I, I printed the flexible upgrade for this one, but really everything else, this arm here and everything is the original that came with the printer and I've used it for several thousand hours. So I figured it's time to go ahead and upgrade it. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. And then I'll print another print to show the difference between this one and the upgrade one. So in the bag what you get is the metal piece here and this one's a little scratched up but that's alright and you get this arm here and it is kinda nice because this arm is longer so you can get a little bit more grip on it so you have those and then in the bag you just have all of the different pieces for the upgrade and to do this all I'm going to use is a little bag of tools that came with the printer and that's all we need so we're going to go ahead and get started all right I'm actually going to loosen this a little bit first because it'll let me move this out just a little bit further tube out. The Capricorn tubing is always kind of difficult to get out because it's just it's so slick it's really hard to get a good grip on. And something to keep in mind is that these screws aren't just holding this in place, they're actually also holding the stepper to this bracket. So when you take this last screw out, you want to support that so it doesn't fall out. Okay, then we're going to take the new one and go ahead and put this in. One thing to note is that in a previous video I showed taking this coupler and using a drill bit to bevel this edge and it looks like on the new ones they actually bevel it for you just a little bit. Uh, might not be enough to keep the filament from snagging on it so we'll see. I'll, I'll go ahead and install it like this and see if it works and if not I'll pull it out and go ahead and bevel that edge a little bit deeper. We'll just snug that up. This doesn't need to be real tight. <clears throat> just enough to hold it in place. Alright, then we 
lift the stepper back in place and I'm not going to replace this gear you can see it it shows a little bit of wear but it's really not bad so yeah I think for now I'm just going to leave it and I'm just snugging it up just a little bit just enough to hold it hold it all in place And now I'll go ahead and tighten these up a little bit more. Alright, now we're going to take this and we're going to go ahead and put the idler on there. And that, for that one, we're going to use the lock washer and this one through there. tighten this and you want to make sure you don't have to tighten this real tight the lock washer is going to help hold it in place you want to make sure that once it's tight that this still spins freely and then this piece goes in here like that and then this one drops in there and goes in there then this goes in here And all this does is help capture the spring to keep it in place. And you want to just thread it in as far as it'll go. It's not going to go in all the way. It sticks out just a little bit. Just to help keep that spring in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so with this installed, we're just going to go ahead and drop this into place. And you want to get this snug but not too tight. If it's too loose, you end up getting too much movement in here. And with it too tight, this just doesn't want to move freely. So I just kind of snug it up. It's still, it's pretty tight, but it, it lets it move. And so next is going to be this little screw right here. And I just bring this in until it's about flush with this so that it makes it a little bit easier to slip this spring in place. So you just kind of get through that, get it centered up a little bit. And then go ahead and put that in the rest of the way. And that keeps the spring captured. So that's all there is to it. So this one is not adjustable as far as the spring tension goes but I have found that this does solve a lot of under extrusion issues I have it on my CR10 Mini as well and it solved the issues I was having with that from what I've seen most of the under extrusion issues are actually from this screw being loose this right here because like I showed where it'll move back and forth it, it doesn't allow this idler to put enough tension on the gear here so you can add washers to this to up the spring tension but always check this first um, every time I've had issues it's actually been this being loose if you find that this isn't the issue you can add washers to this but keep in mind it's going to put a lot more pressure on this screw and on the CR10 Mini um, I'll throw a picture in but on the CR10 Mini it had actually bent this screw and you can see how it's it's definitely misshapen and that was because on that on the original extruder I had to tighten this screw down and put washers in there to get it to give me reliable extrusion so uh, it's just something to keep in mind on these so I will go ahead and install the tube and as hard as these are to take out they're equally tough to get in I'll get some filament loaded into this and print another test print and I will show you guys how it came out in just a second
Okay, so the test print is done, and we can take a look at it. So, this first we'll take a look at, this was the first, the first print where I noticed the issue, and it's, I don't know if you can see in the picture, but the banding, you can kind of see it in here. And as it went up onto the ears, the spacing got a little further apart. And then I tried loosening the screw, and it got better. The banding is it's lighter, but it's still doing it. Same thing on the ears. It's, it's kind of faint. Hopefully it's showing up in the video. So this is the latest one. And that... I can really faintly, faintly see it, but overall it's, it is definitely better. I do believe that that's resolved the issue for me. So that was the first one, and the second one, and the third one. And each one was a little bit better than the previous. Alright, so that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed watching, and uh, happy printing.